video, I'm going to show you how I get different backgrounds onto my stars. The forest, baked, dry, polka dot, your stars can have any background you want. Let me show you. Here's a quick lesson on how to fill a star. First, I prepare my new paper for my stars. And my first step is to insert a background into my stars. Many of you have asked, where do I get my backgrounds from? So that's easy. If I have a specific background that I'm looking for, sometimes I'll just search Google, like maybe I just want some grass so I'll search my images for grass. Oh, I like this grass. And it's a large image. If the image is too small, it will be fuzzy within your star. So I don't recommend saving a small image. Right click, save image as, and save it onto your computer in a place where you will know that you'll be able to find it. Then I go back to my stars, design, format background, select all my stars and then I can fill them with whatever picture I like. So I'm using a picture from my files that I saved and I insert the picture. Now you'll notice that this picture is not a square. So when I put it in the star, it's probably going to be warped a little bit funny. Okay. So over to the side here, you'll notice these numbers. These can help you make your picture perfect within your star. Let's just start with all the values at zero and see what we get. That's pretty close, but I think I want to stretch it sideways a little bit. So I'll just, I like that. Okay. So I like this. I like this grass because I'm making cow stars and cows like to be on the grass. So I think that that will be cute. I can also adjust the color of the line as I did point out in my last video. And I think I'll grab a pretty green hue from my grass. Okay, I like that. Now, other ways that you can put backgrounds in are just picture backgrounds. Whoa, whoops, I made the entire background of the whole page of grass. That's hilarious, okay. Another way that you can do it is by having actual backgrounds. And as you can see, I have collected tons of these over time and I will tell you that I have paid for maybe less than 1% of these and the place that I get the majority of these backgrounds from is Teachers Pay Teachers. If you don't have a Teachers Pay Teachers account it's free and easy to set up and then you'll have access to tons of different backgrounds. So I just type in, you can type in digital wallpaper. Backgrounds works too but Oops, wall has two L's. Duh. Sorry, this is what happens when you have a five month old baby that wakes you up all hours of the night. You misspell words like wall. <laughs> I go to free, and then you can see there's tons and tons of options. A lot of times you'll get better options if you have a specific thing in mind, like maybe you want rainbow paper. Okay, and you can see there's some beautiful options that you can pay for, but I'm cheap, so I always click free. I click free before I even start looking because otherwise I would totally be tempted to, you know, want more. So Rainbow doesn't have a whole lot. You can also, instead of searching digital wallpaper, you can just search backgrounds. And sometimes that can get you some different options just depending on how people have saved. What, what word people have saved it under. Ooh, like, I really like this one. I do not have this. So you just click on it, download. You will see it pop up on, the, on your bottom bar. Okay, there it is. I like to stay organized, so I always open it up and I put it in my backgrounds folder so that I have all of my backgrounds in one place. So then I can go back to my presentation, find my new paper, and insert it into my star. Maybe I like the green for the cows. Maybe I would like that better. Now you'll see it looks a little bit wonky. That's because we messed with the inside of the star. So if I re remake them all zero, then they'll be fine. 
you can keep it small like this or you can tile the picture as a texture and it will zoom in on the picture and make it a little bit wider like that. Another place that you can find backgrounds is Etsy. I don't usually get backgrounds from Etsy just because you have to pay for them, but they have a ton. So if you really want to get into it and spend some money and make some real pretty stars, you can get on here and they have some really, really gorgeous, gorgeous paper that people have spent, I'm sure, hours creating like, oh, drool, so beautiful. But again, you have to pay for it. So if anybody wants to buy me a bunch of beautiful paper on Etsy, you're free to do so. <laughs> Just kidding. Be sure to subscribe and be on the lookout for more great star videos. Did you see a star that you like? check out the link below. You can find all of these stars, as well as many more. If there are any stars that you'd like me to make for you, just hit me a note in the comments. I'd be happy to do it.